Marty, Alex, Gloria, and Melman are back, the original zoo crew of Madagascar. They are back now with a new animated series which will be streaming on September 7th on Hulu and Peacock called Madagascar A Little Wild. In Madagascar A Little Wild, the characters that we know and love are back. They're hilarious, but this time, their kids. This week, I actually had an opportunity to sit down with executive producer Joanna Stein and co-executive producer Dana Starfield. We got to talk all things about this show, specifically what it was like to kind of craft the messages throughout the new series, which I'll tell you what, there are some really great life lessons that I needed to hear, and also about the new edition with American Sign Language. Check out my interview now, and also remember to watch on September 7th when Madagascar A Little Wild is available to stream. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Monica from Popcorn Reviews. So fun to watch the Madagascar characters back on screen, but a little earlier in the timeline, which is really fun. I'm curious, you know, as I was watching this, obviously there's a lot of comedy, there's a lot of humor. But there are also a ton of really great life lessons that even I was like, man, like I needed that. You know, do your best to better yourself every day. And, you know, you can't control everything, but, you know, you can't control how you react. And I'm just curious, like, how intentional were you guys about placing those life lessons in each of the stories? Or did they kind of just come about naturally? Oh, no, it's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, in a lot of cases, we actually lead with the idea. What is the concept? What's an idea? an idea not so not so much an educational idea but mm -hmm. what's something that's important to us as people uh as people who once were children and you know dana and i are both moms we have a lot of parents on our crew so we talk a lot about our kids and what are things that we would love for them to ideas that that, that we would love for them to learn so there were a couple characters who signed in the show which i thought was a really great addition can you talk about you know including that and kind of, you know, what you're hoping, you know, kids take away from having the American Sign Language added in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can talk a little bit about the development of it. And I think Joanna can speak more to the process, which is, um, you know, the, the movies included um, some chimps who were signing uh, or one of the chimps who was, uh, and that felt like such a cool aspect that, you know, we, we, having this series had the opportunity to expand upon. Um, New York is a place where there, you know, and everywhere is a place, but New York embodies a place where, uh, that represents everybody um, and different ways of communicating. And this is another way of communicating that we really wanted to highlight. Uh, my, my mom, uh, uh, speaks at ASL. She's she's a teacher, and growing up, she would um, you know sign to my brothers and I when we, and me whenever we would um, be doing something. She would add sign language to it, um, and it was really important. When my daughter was born, um, she she did the same with her, um, and it's just this wonderful form of communicating that we wanted to uh, give voice to, uh, and and have have uh, have you know, a wider audience see this other way of communicating. And also in a character who is, that's not his main trait. A lot of times you'll see, you know, uh, if someone will put something like ASL, uh, you know, represent ASL somewhere, that that sort of becomes the focus. This isn't the focus of his character. It's who he, it's it's his way of communicating, but he is this awesome, funny, comedic relief. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Joanna can speak to how we, uh, how, how that comes to be. Yeah. So it's, yeah, he they're they're a, a fantastic addition to the to the team because um, because animation is such a you know it's such a visual medium very additive to have this character who who communicates through ASL two characters who are who are communicating through ASL um, and just as a so we as a little bit of a background we work with. Um, uh, a team of consultants on the ASL, obviously. Mm -hmm. there's a, there's a, we want to make sure that we're representing the, specifically the signs accurately and, and responsibly. Um, but also there, there, there's a, when we have our sessions with the, the consultants, um, we learn, as Dana was saying, you know, representing this character, <clears throat> excuse me, there's so much more to him than just his, the fact of his deafness. Um, but there are also aspects to uh, his being deaf that, have, that aren't about his, specifically about the signs, like the way he and his sister uh, uh, interact together. Um, and there, there are certain elements of his, 
uh, his deafness that are, he has a, a little bit of a, a superpower in that he and his sister can communicate from long distances. And the chimps have, actually, they kind of have four hands. So they can say, so there are so many interesting aspects to explore uh, that it's also just been really enriching as a person who is not deaf, you know, to learn about all of this and to learn that it's in no way a, a chore to represent that diversity. It's, um, it's completely additive. So we have been, you know, we are, are hungry for that opportunity and we're really, really grateful that we get to do it. That's so great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Madagascar, a little wild.